right down here at my feet, I have two different smart scales, both made by RunStar, both are smart scales. One has a handle, one doesn't. And if you've ever wondered why a smart scale would need a handle, well, today I'm gonna to show you why. I definitely wanna thank the manufacturer RunStar for sending it to me and basically reminding me of all my poor life choices the first time I got on it and looked at all the metrics. We've had this smart scale for years. It's made by RunStar as well. It gives you several different data points and it allows you to track your progress through the StarFit app. And it's been a phenomenal scale. And this scale, like most other smart scales that have four electrodes, measure your legs and lower torso and then use averages to estimate the rest of your body. It's pretty accurate but it's not quite as accurate as the models that have eight electrodes and are actually measuring your entire body. This one doesn't just measure your feet though, like this one. It's actually got eight electrodes, four for your feet and four for your hands, so it can actually measure your entire body instead of just guessing based on what it found out about the lower half. This one uses both foot and hand sensors at the same time. And that means it can measure the impedance to your entire body, lower, upper, and core, giving you separate and more accurate readings for things like muscle mass, fat percentage, water content, visceral fat, and others with better balance. Another thing you're gonna notice about this one versus this one is the electrodes are larger and it's just much easier to step on it and know that you're on the electrodes right away without having to readjust your feet and make sure you're on it correctly. And the platform itself is larger. So if you're a bigger person or have larger feet, then you're gonna fit on this one a lot easier than that one. The retractable handle is sturdy. The color display is bright and it actually shows you seven key stats right away. So there's no need to go running for your phone immediately if you don't have time for that. You can always check those other stats later. And you can still get all the deep breakdowns in the app later if you choose to go look at it later. It also syncs with Apple Health, Fitbit, and Google Health Connect. The setup is quick. You'll scan a barcode, connect the scale to your phone app, and you're pretty much good to go. Once it's paired to Bluetooth, you basically just stand on it barefoot and hold the handle and be still for about 10 seconds. Right on the display, you're gonna get your weight, your BMI, your body fat percentage, your muscle mass, and a little bit more. And then in the app, you're gonna get 28 metrics total. I ran it side by side with the older model that has only the four electrodes. And this one consistently showed slightly different muscle and fat distribution numbers. That kind of makes sense because it's actually measuring both upper and lower body instead of just estimating from the legs up like this one does. Basically, this scale thought everything was in my calves and this one kind of gave my arms a little credit as well. So here's like my pros and cons and kind of my takeaway between this and the four electrode model. This one gives you full body measurement because it uses the eight electrodes rather than the four. It's got a really bright color display with seven metrics that show up instantly. It syncs easily with health apps. It supports unlimited users with 24 different profiles. And it's FSA and HSA eligible. And one more positive about this newer model is it comes with a rechargeable battery built in and a USB-C cable. So anytime you need to recharge it, you can just plug it in versus the older models that all ran off AA batteries. The cons, it's slightly bulkier, so it'll take up a little more floor space and you do need the app for all the data. And the only other thing is you can only connect one device at a time, which is really not a problem because you're only gonna use one at a time. And one more thing that I would point out as far as holding the handle, and it's not a con, but it is something you wanna pay attention to. To get your hands on this properly, you're gonna put your hands over the top. You also wanna make sure your thumbs are on these electrodes because it can be easy to pick up the handle and not quite have your thumbs in place. I didn't even notice those electrodes were there the first couple times and it took me a couple times to realize it. So it is more expensive than the other scale, obviously, because it has more function. But if you care about getting a fuller picture of body composition and not just a fairly accurate guess from the waist down, 
then this is one of the few options that actually does that. It's about as close to a DEXA scan as you can get without actually going to get a DEXA scan. Basically, what I'm telling you is I liked my four electrode model until I tried this model. Now that I've tried this model, I don't think I could go back, to be honest. I'll link both models down in the description. Those are affiliate links. If you choose to use them, they help the channel out at no extra cost to you. I really appreciate that when you do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.